Small rubber, gang. This is a prime example of me going above and beyond. I was just gonna clean a little spot, but then when I started cleaning, I'm like, you know what, might as well clean everything else too. And that's, that's something that you'll instill in yourself, okay? I know, I mean, this wasn't really supposed to be part of the video, but just always do a little bit more than you're, you're supposed to do. And every time you do something, you'll do a little bit more, you get more done, and you'll be progressing and pushing past other people who don't do that. Like most people would have just taken that little thing and then been like, scrub, 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 been done. Instead, I started wiping everything off. Why? Because if I wanna wipe this off later, I'm gonna have to go get the paper towel again. Right, you're actually getting more done. It's like knocking out two birds with one stone. Why, why would I wanna waste my time twice and as long as I'm already doing it, why not just finish it? It's a mindset that was instilled in me very young, which I'm very thankful for. Okay, it's probably one of the major reasons I'm able to work my ass off today like that. But, ooh, little, little tidbit in there. Let's go on, let's start the video. What up, Tomorrow Rapper? Today we're talking about EPKs. And if you don't know what an EPK is, an EPK is an electronic press kit. I'm also gonna talk about the 10 things that need to be an electronic press kit. And an electronic press kit is very, very useful, especially when you're trying to get heard by blogs, you're trying to get on Spotify playlists, you're trying to get somebody, you know, uh, uh, people at radio stations, people at college radio, anybody to pay attention to you. This is what's going to make you look much more professional if you can send them an EPK. And they know what an EPK is because they receive them. And somebody who knows what an EPK is and actually takes the time to create an EPK, an electronic press kit, they take it more seriously because they look more professional. You're not just sending a link. We're going to go over all that today, though. I'm Rob Level. This is Smart Rapper. You're about to get smarter today. We're gonna talk about that after the intro. I do this full time, bitch. I do this full time. Every day, day. Stay up on my grind, bitch. All day, day. Stay up on my grind. Grind. I do this full time, bitch. I haven't really spoken about EPKs too much, but. EPKs are, you know, they can help you get more shows, get that radio play, get on that Spotify playlist. It'll help you stand out from all, all, like the other tens of thousands of people that are trying to do the same thing. EPKs are very important, okay? And I'm sure you've heard of an EPK if you're a serious artist and have even looked at, into the basics of music marketing, okay? EPKs are essential. And I'm gonna go over, you know, the 10 things that you need to have in an EPK. It's not hard to create an EPK. And I'm also gonna make an additional video sometime very soon on programs you can use that are free uh, to create a, a really good looking EPK for yourself, okay? But let's go ahead and get into this. So what is an EPK, right? Again, electronic press kit, just wanna drill that in your head, all right? An EPK is basically everything about you, okay? Pictures, your a short bio, a long bio, uh, a list of your, 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 your credits, the things that you've done and accomplished, okay? It's pretty much like a super version of a Wikipedia that's also shorter and concise, but just gives all that information to somebody who sees it, right? Like if I could, like, like for instance, great example, if I was gonna meet somebody, I met somebody yesterday, I was, at a, I was at a birthday party yesterday, like what do you do? And I'm like, I wish I could just like, give her my EPK. You know what I'm saying? Cause like now I have to explain all this to somebody. And cause if you just send somebody a link to your music, all they know is he sent me a link. They don't know anything else about you, but an EPK gives them the picture. It tells them about you, things that you've accomplished. It just gives them a whole, a good, very large, broad spectrum of this is who this artist is. This is what they represent. This is what they look like. And here's some of their music and here's where they've been posted and here's what they've accomplished, right? It, imagine it's, it's pretty much like a super business card that you can hand to somebody to be like, hey, take me seriously, I'm a professional. Okay, that's why this is important. Now, one thing I do recommend, which is actually, it's pretty useful, is if you don't already have an EPK that you can send to somebody, having a website with your name that has your EPK on the website, as soon as they go to the website, it's just your, your website is your EPK. It tells them about you in a sense, they can link them to your other music and everything else like that. And then there could be like a merch button on the side and stuff like that. But if your EPK could be your website and you'll look very professional because you own the domain name, it shows you more professional stuff, right? Now, if not, you can also create one on the side and it can be sent as a PDF or it can uh, it, it can be hosted on another website. If you want more information on how to start your own website, because I you know I built Smart Rapper myself, I built all my websites myself, I built mycrazylifestory.com myself. If you want more information on how to make a website, I'll put a link below for you guys. It also shows like the top 10 reasons why a rapper needs a website. Okay, not gonna go too far into that, but it's very easy to make a website and you should have your website. And if not a website, at least lock down your domain name so nobody else can steal your rap name, okay? Let's go over these 10 things that you're gonna have inside of your electronic press kit. Number one, high resolution, good pictures. I'm not talking about selfies, okay? You wearing what, what, what you want to represent, what you are as an artist in a picture, and it's a high resolution picture taken on a not a, like a white background but a background that is not plain but maybe in an area that represents you maybe your town maybe by a street sign you grew up by maybe in the mountains if you're you know you know say it or like it really depends depends on what your brand is it really depends okay maybe you in front of a car like it's just it, whatever you want people that when they see you what do you represent and this is a big deal especially when the, that first image they see is how they see you okay that's what you're seen as and then the rest of it goes from there 
People take everything at first appearances. When they see you, they go, they, they look at you and then they assess, it, it hits the reptilian brain and they think of everything in their life that's associated with what you look like. If somebody ever robbed them that looks just like you, they're gonna think this guy is a robber. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just how it is. That's why like, you know, they think like people, when we dress like urban, right? We dress urban or whatever, you wear chains, they think you're a hoodlum or they think you're not necessarily a criminal, but they, you know, it's just, that's how people's brains processing. But you see somebody in a suit, the same dude that was wearing urban clothes is in a suit. You're like, oh, that boy, that guy making money. Right, or you know what I'm saying? Or if you pull up in a junky car, we assume you're poor. You pull up in a rich ass looking car, they're like, who the fuck is this? It's, it's human nature. It's how our brains process things. It's how we protect ourselves as part of the survival instinct, okay? So I, I'm only saying all this stuff. It may sound like gibberish, but it's very true. That's why that picture is important. When somebody sees that picture of you, that represents you. Choose your picture wisely. Number two, you're gonna need a long form bio and a short form bio that's short enough to actually tweet if they wanted to tweet your bio out, okay? So the long form bio is pretty much telling your, your story, okay? And then the short one is kind of like just what does this artist represent? Uh, what do we need to know about this artist? And something short enough to tweet, okay? Number three, Obviously, all links to your social media, you gotta have that, right? If you don't, you're a dummy. Number four, your best music. Like your top three, your top five songs need to be on here in the order of, and you can rearrange this order depending on who you're gonna send the EPK to. Right? If you're sending it to a blog that's more, you know, more EDM-ish, but they post hip-hop stuff, well, post a song that has has more of that vibe to it. You know what I'm saying? And then you can you can interchange those songs because chances are they're gonna click that top song, right? Number five, hopefully you already have a music video. Um, but if you have it, you have a really good visual, put that music video inside of your EPK so they can see a visual of how serious you take yourself. And this is why, another reason why having a great video is very important because when somebody sees that video, that they're like, oh, this guy either spent money on this or he spent time, energy, and was creative enough in this video where when he made this, it was he was he's serious. He really is an artist. He's a true artist, okay? When they, when they see that visual and they see that picture, that's how, they, that's how they look at you. So like looking like a professional is very important. Number six, your discography. Show, uh, the names of your albums, your top songs, stuff like that, show how many products Projects you've released. If you got like six projects, think like, damn, this dude's been around. It's not just like a first mixtape thing. Number seven, any press you've gotten. Have you been posted on BuzzFeed? Have you been posted on, posted on Huffington Post? Have you been posted on Complex, Hip Hop, DX? I've been posted all these places. Okay, that's why when you, if you ever see anything of me, I often, even inside of the intro, it shows that little thing of all the places I've been posted. You probably never may have never paid attention to it, but I've been on like every website. My music has been on every website. So in that intro, when I play the the intro, when my song full time or whatever's the intro is playing, at the very end of it, it shows a list of every web, like a lot, not all of them, but a lot of the famous popular websites I've been posted on. When people see that, they go, damn, he's been posted on all these websites. Number eight, it's helpful to do this as well as artists that you've opened for, okay? Or if you've went on tours, even potentially how many tickets you've sold or how large the venue was and the percentage of the sellout of the tickets, okay? Because this, 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 will, show, um, this will show the talent buyers at venues uh, you know, if you if you are actually ready for shows. So if you were to send this to them, they can see, oh, he sold tickets before, oh, he's open for this, 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 and this artist. Okay, cool. Or, and you can also say uh, which places you performed as well if you're newer, right? If there's not a plethora of places, sh show the local places uh, in your area. Like if you performed at these three places, but and then this is a new place, but it's a bigger venue, they've heard of these places. They work in the town. They know the other venues. That's the competition, okay? Number nine, testimonials or quotes from websites that you've been posted on. So remember I said that you were posting on those websites? Well, when you put their logos in there, that's cool, but here, is where you're actually gonna put the quotes of things that they've said about your music, about your videos, or anything else like that. Like if they say something like, oh, best song that I heard in February 2019. Like, did somebody at BuzzFeed said that about you? Somebody's gonna take you more seriously when they see that somebody with some status said that about you. Same thing that happens when you see a movie advertisement, they'll say, moviereviews.com said this about it, da 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 said this about it, because it gives that effect of, wow, somebody with status is actually saying something good about this, and this person is very opinionated, right? So that is very valuable and is a must have inside of your EPK. Number 10, contact information, your email address and your phone number. Now, if it's on your website, don't put that, but if you're sending an EPK to specific people, then have your phone number and all that information in there, because if they want to call you and ask you some questions, you need to be readily available, okay? You don't want to miss an opportunity because they may move on to the next person if they don't have your email. Like, how do I contact them? Eh, let's move to the next person. Now, I need you to understand the two most important parts of your EPK are going to be, number one, your pictures, 
okay? So it's gonna be your picture, so you, you should have a full body shot showing your image, and then you should have like a head shot that shows, you know, just, just here, okay? Um, those are the two most professional like types of shots. If you get two really good ones that match, those will be good in there. And then it's, number two is how it looks overall, because it also needs to look good. It can't just be all this information crammed together. It needs to look cohesive, it needs to look good, it needs to look clean, and the colors should match your brand. If you have brand colors, you should get some, okay? And again, if you send an EPK to anybody, you look way, way more professional than 99.9% .9 of artists. Because number one, it shows that you know what an EPK is. Number two, it shows that you actually took the time to make an EPK, and if it looks good, it shows that you are you make quality, you're creative. We can assume your music's the same. Number three, it shows that you're more professional as a music artist. It just does, okay? And this, this is why this is essential. This thing will only take you less than an hour to make, okay? You should go make this, and you can slowly update it as things change, and it'll slowly get better, you slowly get better pictures. But if you go make an EPK right now, you're, it's gonna help you a lot, okay? And again, very soon I'm gonna make a video showing you what websites you can go to to make an EPK 100% for free that looks fantastic. And you know this is a Smart Rapper channel, so I teach you a word a day to increase your vocabulary so you can increase you know, your rhymes, you can increase your vocabulary in real life and impress people when you have really cool words to say and conversation to seem a lot smarter. That's why it's Smart Rapper, right? So, I'm gonna hit you guys with the word of the day. Make sure you subscribe, hit me with a like, please, and uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram, at Rob underscore level, almost at 300,000 on there, and I do the word of the day on there as well, so you guys can learn, okay? And uh, stay up on everything with me on there, and watch the progression. You know what time it is. I got this right here, man. It's time for word of the day, new words. You can say new words for your rhymes and for your wordplay by the time you leave this video. You'll be smarter than you was before. This is so stupid. Today's word of the day, I am gonna use this all the time. The word is flummox. It means to baffle or confuse. For example, complicated instructions would flummox a stupid person. Put this shit together. Ah! And quote of the day, nothing leads to good that is not natural. And that is Frederick Schiller. Fred, Fred, Frederick Schiller. All right, I hope you learned a new word today. Please hit me with a subscribe. And when you hit subscribe, hit that little bell because it's going to notify you every time I release a new video so you can become a smarter rapper and become part of the notification gang as well. All right, I need you to be the first ones here, learning the information first and being smarter first. All right, hit me with a like, hit me with a comment. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. All right, until then, check out these other videos. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Keep hustling. Gang. Damn, it's hot in this jacket, bro. Smart rapper. Gang.